Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our SU-25T and we're looking at unguided bombs and munition dispensers. So the first thing to point out is to arm up we need our canopy open and our engines off and spooled down. Next we're going to go to the armament screen and we can have bombs on pylons 5, 4, 3 and 2 and mirrored the other side. So let's go on pylon 5, bombs. We can have got a BETAB and uh, two variants 500 kilo bombs and these are anti-fortification or anti-concrete anti-runway bombs. Next FAB 100 is a basic unguided slick bomb of 100 kilograms. FAB 250 the same but 250 kilograms this one the same 500 kilograms. The KAB is actually a guided type of weapon bomb so we're not going to look at that today. Then we have dispensers. So the dispensers are weapons that stay attached to the aircraft. They do not drop, but these dispensers drop several little bomblets. Uh, lots of bomblets, I think 96 actually, um, and we'll use them later. Um, they come in two warhead types, AO, anti-infantry, and PTAB, anti-armor. Next we've got an MBT-267 rack. This is a rack that carries four times FAB 100s. Next we've got the RBKs, these are cluster bombs, uh, they fall from the plane, they explode in midair and separate into sub munitions which drop down. We've got 250 total kilo anti-armour, 250 kilo anti-infantry, the same RBK 500 in 500 kilo type anti-armour, another type of anti-armour, and anti-infantry, uh, anti and a Saab 100. A Saab 100 is an, is an illumination bomb. So regards drop heights of these bombs, B-tabs need to be dropped anywhere above 300. In fact, all of these are anywhere above 300 and upwards, apart from the dispensers here, which need to be dropped between, and we're talking AGL here, uh, 50 and 150 meters AGL. And the Saab needs to be 1,000, between 1,000 and 3,000 meters AGL. So let's get armed up. If uh, on the inner pylons we have Fab 250s, Next pylons will have dispenser pods. Next we'll have anti-armor RBK cluster unit cluster bombs. And on these outer pylons we'll have the MDB launchers. That's a pretty heavy plane. Okay, let's get armed up. Okay, that's us armed up. Next we're gonna have a look at the controls that we're gonna be using today. Fire weapon to drop the bomb. 7 to put us into air to ground mode change weapon to cycle through the different weapons control space to change ripple quantity mode select and V to change ripple interval okay start up and get going now while that's warming up let's talk about the modes that we're going to be using for bombing so the fab 250s that we're going to drop we'll drop a pair of them at the same time just because we can we'll be using a targeting system at known as CCIP continuously calculated impact point. There is this and another system called CCRP that we can use for aiming. Next we will use the KGMs, the dispensers. We'll be using these in CCRP targeting, a continuously calculated release point. Uh, we'll be using dive bombing for these, straight bombing for these, level bombing. For the RBK 500 cluster bombs we'll be using CCIP and we'll be using a dive bomb. And for these MDB 4 times 500 will be using CCRP level bombing and a ripple okay so let's get going okay so we've identified our targets a couple of miles away on the road there a convoy of armored vehicles so first of all we'll do the two CCIP dive bombing runs so first of all we're going to select our fab 250s so I'm pause air to ground mode change weapon so if it says DSP here, it's a dispenser we've got selected. B is a bomb. And so we've currently got the inner pylons, as you can see, and we confirm down here on our ordnance selector, we've got our two inner pylons selected, which are the FAB 250s, both of them active, and that means bomb, basically, in Russian. Okay, so let's look at our bomb selectors here. So we've got our ripple selector here and our interval selector here. So we can drop one bomb at once, we can drop two bombs together, we can drop four bombs together. I should say that these are only of the uh, a selected type. So with this bomb selected, the FAB 250s, all we could drop is those two bombs maximum. It would not apply to different types of bombs if we didn't have them selected. Four bombs together, and this down here is all bombs available 
of that type. Then we've got the interval selector. This here is salvo, which will basically drop everything at once with no interval in between. Here is one, 0 0.1 seconds, 2, 3 and 4 between each drop of each bomb or of each pair or of each four. Here is this one here. It was a special mode. If you've got dispenser pods that we've got, um, then this mode here will allow two second intervals between drops of groups of dispenser munitions. And if you've got the MDB racks with the multiple of Fab 100s like we have, then it will uh, stagger each drop of those single bombs by 0.3 seconds. We probably will use that on our run. Okay, so for this, we want to drop both bombs at once with no uh, time in between. So we're going to go left, control and space. And that's turned it to two. So we're going to drop both bombs with no interval between because we're on salvo. There are other, op other options here, like th these options here. These for gun pods and of no relevance to today's video. Right, so let's talk about the technique uh, for a CCRP dive bomb. We want to dive from 1,700 to 2,000 meters AGL. We want to dive in at 10 to 20 degrees descent. Our speed wants to be between 500 and the max speed of the aircraft, or below the max speed of the aircraft. I think that's about 800. Uh, then we will get extra symbology when we do that. In fact, I'll just wait until we get there before we do that. So full power, and let's roll in. Slightly low. We're very heavy at the moment, so she's not very, uh, she's not going to be very compliant. Okay, altitude is good. Okay, and just to sort my trim out now, get up to speed and start our dive. So what we want to do is choose a target. I'll pick this one on the end. I want to maneuver my plane so that the CCIP targeting pipper is on that target. And I want to maneuver my plane so I can keep it on that target for as long as possible. Um, what I will do, and I have a range bar here, which is the range, so that is, you know, 2.5 kilometers at the moment. When we get down to a certain pre-designated range, um, then we will get the symbology that tells us to drop the weapon. In fact, we'll just wait until we get there for that. So, just still just sorting out my trim. Okay, down we go. Just below 10 degrees, so it's a bit shallow dive, but it should still be okay. So, hover that over that guy here. Wait, be patient. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Whoops, a little bit late. So we've got our launch authority now, LA, and we've got our plum CCRP line. Now we're basically good to drop. Just press the button and our two bombs should come off. So I'm going to go unpause drop, pull out, down go the babies. That's that blighter gone. Right, next, uh, so that was CCRP dropping a salvo or, of two bombs. Okay, so let's select our cluster bombs next. Uh, they are going to be those ones there. Regards to the approach, it's going to be exactly the same. CCIP dive bomb from 1700 to 2000 meters. AGL on speed above 500 clicks per hour and 10 to 20 degrees. Regards setup, I would like to drop both on one click of a button or one click and hold of a button, but I want 0.3 seconds between them. So I'm going to press V. So we are now dropping two on one click with 0.3 seconds in between them. Okay, so let's go and get up to altitude and speed. Okay, we're up to altitude and we're on speed, so we're going to head in now, sort our trim out. Again, we're going for a CCIP targeting system, so exactly the same as last time. Okay, let's make the dive. If we just aim for the first guy again. You can see that we've got our CCIP selected as well. We have IP there. It's counting down again, just got to wait. Be patient and wait again. There, we fire them off with uh, 0.3 seconds interval. There we go, we've got a couple of the blighters. Next, why don't we go for our MDB launch, uh, our uh, racks that have four Fab 100s on each of them. So let's select that. Uh, so that's that. 
Yep, that's them there. So for this, we're going to do a little different. We're going to go on CCIP, which means a level bombing approach, and we'll go through how that works once we're on the way. Um, and we'll do our setup. So we've got four bombs left, four bombs right, and we've got a special mode for this down here, which allows, I think, 0.3 seconds between each bomb. Uh, so we're going to do that. And why don't we have two bombs at once? So, no, sorry, I want all bombs here, and I want a special mode there. That's what I'm going to want. So let's try that. Uh, that whoops all bombs there and special mode for the fab 100s there right it's gonna get to get on speed get to altitude and we'll go around again right okay so because we're going for a level bombing we don't need to be up at the same altitude for the level bombing we need to be basically above 300 meters but after that it doesn't really matter so why don't we choose a thousand meters AGL for this run just looking for the target there they are speed it doesn't really matter again above 500 clicks per hour if possible and below the minimum or the maximum airframe so what we're going to do we're going to do this in two stages first stage is to select the target and um, to do that what we're going to do is hover our CCRP targeted pepper here over the target that we want to attack which will be the first unit if we can then we're going to hold our trigger and we're going to hold our trigger for the rest of the sequence the second part of the sequence is we will be given guidance information to fly to it will come in the um, form of a steering point up here which we'll have to steer to I'll show you that in a bit uh, so let's get that started just trying to get level with the target okay so I'm just going to pull the nose up just to select the target see if we can get him shall we and ping right that's in there now what I want to do I'm holding my finger on the trigger at this point I've got to steer to this circle here so this is basically where my my tail is if you like of my aircraft and I have to make sure that stays on that dot at all times so I'm gonna to have to turn right here to get that otherwise all I do is hold the trigger down here is our countdown not in kilometers but just in time and when it gets to the bottom the bombs will drop in the sequence as desired so going to get back online here if we can altitude about a thousand meters we want to keep our countdown will start soon okay that's not too bad going a little bit low warning will come and the drop will come shortly okay Whoopsie, that's not actually what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was ripple those bombs right across the total length of them. And I just realised I set a setting wrong. I've put here, I accidentally put onto all bombs. So it dropped all of my bombs basically at once. What I wanted to do was have one, two or three. And then it would have dropped, uh, so if I had put on two, it would have dropped two every 0.3 seconds. Do do, do do, do do, do do. That's what I meant to do, but I'm an idiot. But hopefully you get the idea of how to do that then. Uh, right, next we're going to do another CCRP run. This is going to be exactly the same except low level and with our dispensers. Otherwise, it's pretty much identical. So, let's get going. So, we don't need to get altitude um, or really speed for this. Speed doesn't matter, but again, above 500 uh, kilometers per hour if we can. Uh, altitude is a bit more difficult for this. It wants to be between 50 and 150 meters radar, uh, AGL, which can be difficult, especially on undulating terrain like this. So. I almost uh, prefer to do it by eye sometimes, but otherwise it should be okay. Okay, I think we can go right round for that. So we can stay at altitude for targeting. First of all, we're going to do our targeting and select the, uh, the the front guy. So let's zoom in, let's try and get this dude. Ping. Bit off there. Ping. Bit better. Right, we're going to dive down now to get to our altitude. We're going to go real frigging quick now. And we've got our steering point to work to, as before. And we, might, up. we might still make this. Pull up. Beautiful. makes up for our earlier cock up we've just completely wiped them out with our uh, dispenser pods that was pretty awesome you can see that it started the dispenser started hitting the first car that I targeted and then ran right down the rest of the ripple 
Right, and that's all our munitions used up. So to recap, we used Fab 250s and a CCIP dive bomb. We used cluster bombs on a CCIP dive bomb. We used a KMG dispensers on a CCRP low level bomb. And we used the, uh, the Fab 100s in what was supposed to be a ripple with a, CCIP, a CCRP medium level bomb. That's all I've got to say on unguided bombs. I hope that helps and I'll see you later.